Hi guys, we're at the end of week 14 of taking 150 milligrams of sertraline to treat CPTSD, MDDS and PPPD. Um, this week's been a productive one. Um, I've been to the doctors to discuss um, the side effects that I've been getting, um, symptoms, uh, the medication that I'm taking, just for a bit of a review. Um, so the upshot of that was that um, if you remember ladies I've been put on HRT or I decided to go on HRT because I was getting some symptoms that could have been related to perimenopause because I'm of that age. Um, as it turns out those symptoms were actually side effects of sertraline which every time I increased my dose I would get night sweats and when I say night sweats I'm talking like my legs would be drenched. Uh, very, very odd. Um, anyway, so it turns out that that was a symptom of going up on the sertraline. Those night sweats have now pretty much resolved, which tells me that the medication has leveled out in my system. Um, I'm staying on 150 milligrams. I'm not gonna go up. Um, I feel that that has done what I needed to do to give me the confidence to um, do the work that I need to do somatically as in in the body um, so yeah as I said to you last week last on the last update um, my focus this year is to really get back into my body and do the somatic work that I need to do the somatic tracking and all that kind of stuff because it seems to me the general consensus is the people that are recovering are the ones that are doing that work um, now I'm in frequent contact with three people that have triple PD. Obviously I have a different variation of that. Mine is more MDDS. Please excuse the background noise and the bumps. Obviously I'm in the car at the moment. Um, so I have a different variation of triple PD. It's more like MDDS because I feel more movement and dizziness when I'm still. And hence I'm better in a car. Um, but it doesn't really matter what we call it. Um, having said that, so there's three people that I'm in communication with. They all have triple PD. One of them hasn't done any somatic work. She's on metazapine, uh, which is an SNRI. She's been on that for just over a year. Um, she's at the highest dose she can have. And she's just, she's made so many changes in her life because she's, like me, she's realised that she's being inauthentic. Um, so she's made changes in her life. Um, she is improving, but the symptoms haven't gone away. And my belief is that's because she's not, she's just getting on with it. She's kind of pushing them down still. So she's made, she's made the changes. She's, she's done that kind of self, self-compassion thing, but she's not done the body work, which she needs to do. So she's still stuck in symptoms, but they're just a lot milder. Um, and she's managing to distract herself. She's working full time now, you know, um, so she's good, but she's she's still got the bobbing, swaying, um, and marshmallow walking. It's just done a lot, a lot milder. The second person is Steve from Steve's Long COVID Journey, who I met up with last week. Um, we were gonna do the paranormal investigation together. Um, and for those of you that were interested in that, I'm sorry to say the person bottled it, they cancelled. Well, they didn't even bother to cancel, they just didn't answer the door. So they gave us their address, we turned up and they didn't answer. So poor Steve drove all the way from Reading um, in Berkshire to Hertfordshire to see me. I mean, it was good that we met up anyway and we got on very well, as you can imagine. Um, so, um, yeah, so that was nice anyway, but we, we didn't do the investigation, so sorry to disappoint you guys. But we are going to be doing some investigations together in February. Anyway, that's another thing. Steve is recovering. He's doing quite well. Um, his average baseline is like a four. <coughs> and that's because he's doing the somatic work. He's taking time to do somatic tracking. Um, and he's had a somatic therapist to help him do that. Now, the third person is Yvonne. Yvonne has only had PPPD for around seven months. Um, she very quickly um, found the steady coach uh, and it was a case of, you know, it, it's been pretty quick for her, but she's also got a somatic therapist so um, who is SERPA accredited as well. So um, as I was saying to you last week, my, my thoughts for this year were I need to do the somatic work and I need a therapist to do that 
but actually I don't think I need to pay for one because um, Yoni Arthur did an interview with um, Tana Murtar. Um, so if you're not aware of who, you need, who Yonit Arthur is, why not? She's a steady coach. Um, just check her out on YouTube. Um, Tanner is somebody who is, I believe he's super accredited to. Um, he works with mind-body disorders and um, pain psychotherapy. So obviously we can apply that to dizziness as well. And if Yonit approves him, that's all good. So I started to, I start, I subscribed to his channel and started to watch these videos. And I've been doing his somatic tracking and I did it last night and I fell asleep. So that's a really good sign. Um, he's got so many tools, guys, to get into the body um, and really good videos where you feel like you may as well just be opposite him in the room. And I really like that. So, um, I'm going to be using him and actually he did an interesting um, video on polyvagal theory as well, um, looking into what, how we can get back into a regulated um, sympathetic nervous system state um, and he said if we can incorporate these four things into our lives, um, these four things are playfulness, stillness, intimacy and passion all those things send signals to the brain of safety so if we can do do things that we're passionate about you know um obviously intimacy intimacy is not always easy um but just having having those connections like playfulness intimacy stillness is something that i really need to learn to do i've been on the go for my entire life just like avoid 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 rush 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 uh put, putting so much pressure on myself um so he's really he's really got my attention and he does work on um becoming still learning to release the pressure of where when it's built up in your body and releasing it out so i would really highly recommend him um i feel like i've got what i need to from a steady coach she's made me understand what's happening to me so i i don't need to watch her videos anymore only unless it's a recovery video and then i'm hooked so i'm only focusing on those things um dan buglio pain free you he's who i turn to when for example i know i've got to go to work and i'm feeling like an eight or a nine on the scale he will get me down a notch um and remind me it's okay um he's just brilliant um, but I only use him in those kind of situations and Tana Murtar is going to be my somatic therapist that's it I've made the decision so I'm working in getting off the massager getting into my body and doing that somatic work so um, anyway I hope you found this helpful um, I have had a bit of a wobbly emotional week just questioning everything am I being authentic etc etc um, and I've been really open with my partner about it um, we've had a good talk and because um, obviously we're looking to move um, well not obviously but we are we're looking to move we want to both want to change in our life um, and we've got to make sure that we can reach a compromise when we're both very different people so that's a bit that, that's hard work that is hard work um because i want him to be happy oh i'm so sorry about the bounciness i want him to be happy he wants me to be happy so um it's it's um quite challenging and pressurizing to have all these thoughts in my head and i got overwhelmed yesterday but then i allowed myself to cry so um yeah i'm getting there guys i'm getting there uh and uh, look look out for um our videos over the next so i say our me and steve over the next month or so we've got some really interesting investigations we're going to be doing and um yeah i look forward to um seeing and speaking to you later hope you're okay if you're not reach out and i'll see you on sunday love you lots